Hello everybody and welcome back to our RimWorld Alpha 15 playthrough. Thank you once again for joining me for this episode. Remember, in the last uh, few episodes really I guess, um, Randy Random has really been ramping up his uh, chaos. He's been kicking my ass with prison breaks, raids, infestation. I think the infestation... Oh, there's an infestation over here too. Lovely, they've popped up once more, so we're going to need to deal with that. But more importantly, right now, because that's quite a small infestation, uh, we're going to need to tend to our colonists. So here we go. What's Redneck Doge up to? Let's prioritize looking after Born. Uh, Lizzie Minor developed immunity on her nose infection. That's good. Ash and Crow finally got the treatment he needs. Good, good. Yeah, so we've been taking a bit of a pound in. Look at the state of my base. There's blood everywhere. There's weapons strewn all over the place. So I've got a lot of uh, administration to take care of. Ah, here we go. Ash and Crow's got that infection. I thought he probably would. Let's get that treated. Mule, are you coming to treat him? No. All right, Dan Peters, you rush to the attention of Mr. Ash and Crow. All right, I hope you're enjoying this playthrough, guys. It's been chaotic. But slowly but surely, we're getting there. Uh, remember, one of our issues right now as well is food. We are kind of lacking a lot of food. We've got a lot of animals here that we can cut up, but uh, food is one of our priorities. So let's try and get something cooked a little bit here. Now, Prissy, do you really need to sleep? Yes, apparently you do. All right, I understand. That's fine. Now, we've got some weapons lying about. Who should we allocate these to? Born. I guess it's mostly... The people who are in beds and we've got an elephant with an infection too i think sparkles is looking after him though crikey yeah they took a bit of a pound in these uh, animals protecting us and a hyena oh hyena a character has uh, an infection i see yeah these are the prison breakers <laughs> absolute chaos is going on in this playthrough it's uh amusing i suppose oh dear ash and crow get back to bed buddy that infection is not going to go away on its own. Um, yeah, we dealt with the poison ship, I, if I recall. Yes, we did. That's good. So, yeah, I guess we want to focus on food production, uh, getting more bedrooms up and running, and tending to the sick this episode. I suppose that would be uh, a good starting point. Let's chop these trees down. Mental break, sad wonder. Oh, Dan! He can't cope with, like, fixing people anymore. He's like, I've seen too many people get injured. Also remember that last episode we lost our beloved butt cancer, which sucks balls big time. Um, sorry, dude. But, you know, you had a good innings. You were a stoic member of our squad. Okay, Ash and Crow's decided to strip off naked. I think that's going to help your um, infection, to be honest. <laughs> Sarcasm. All right. Uh, what have we got here? Elephant 4. How's Lizzie doing? And just some bruises. She's just sleeping them off. And sparkles. Look at that lovely power armor helmet you've got there. So if I remember correctly, we've got 20-something um, colonists now. Oh no, Alfred Skips has gone crazy. Damn it, Alfred. Look, we've still got so much to tidy up as well. I suppose once we're back up and running, then we'll be good. Yes, Alfred Skips... Bit of a pyromaniac, if we remember. So he's uh, busy setting fire to everything. Thanks, Alfred. That will help me immensely. There we go. What's that he set fire to? A mega scarab. Uh, okay, cool. Uh, tattered apparel for Cianox. Wow, it's a long while since we've had that complaint. What are you wearing that's tattered, then? Your synthread pants. I see. Well, let's see if we can sort that out for you and get some more pantaloons made. I don't think we built another tailoring workbench, did we? No, and we are in uh, in the process of building a machining table there. So I guess up here we'll get an electric tailoring bench built again. And we'll have a little wooden stool there to accommodate some comfort. Uh, Alfred Skips is no longer on a fire starting spree. That's pleasing to hear. Now, can we get Ash and Crow back to bed? Nope. No prisoners of bed. What's going on here? Colonist needs treatment. Oh, what is that? Uh, Cobra has been beaten to death. Oh no, in the prison. Prison riot! Jackal's just beating the crap out of everybody. <laughs> Bear, are you part of me? No. Okay, Bear's, Bear managed to take care of Jackal. <coughs> Good stuff, Jesus Christ. Alright, Lizzie's getting her bruised bones attended to. And Butterfly, what are you up to? Just hauling, I think. 
Okay, booth's cooking. That's good. We need that. So we're pretty much back in good condition again. So now we need to think about dealing with this hive up here. Aha! Sparkles is experiencing a bit of a beating. And you're cowering. Maybe, Sparkles, you can take care of this for me. And maybe not. <laughs> Run, Sparkles! Get her back to the medical wing. Uh, okay, let me take a little look through my characters now and see who has a weapon, who doesn't have a weapon. All right, Alfred, Lord Cucumber, and uh, yeah, Reinstein are good. So we're going to send them out to take care of the bug infestation. Uh, Ostrich has a weapon. Lizzie, Lizzie needs a weapon. All right, well, there's plenty laying around, so let's find you one. Uh, you can have this triple rocket launcher up there. Let's give her the... Where are we, Lizzie? Let's give her the normal charge rifle here. What about Cianox? You're good. Booth, Mule, Lyra, Redneck Dodge. There you go, fella. All right, team. Assembled by the enemy. How's our character here? Sparkles running like crazy. She's like, no. You can take me alive. Or dead or something. Come on, troops. Where are you? What are you up to, butterfly? Burying? Oh, no. You're hauling them. Oh, yeah. We still need all the graves built as well. <laughs> Okay, I might need to, like, slow down a little bit on my fast-forwarding here. Uh, mule's broken down a little bit. I'm going to get rid of all these little envelopes. And, yeah, these guys should be capable of taking care of these, of this threat here. Where are you off to, Lizzie? Consuming insect jelly. Hell no. Come here and assemble with your, squ with your squad. We'll fight the aliens together. The infestation, sorry. Here we are. Firepower! Oh shit, this ain't working. Kill that fucking giant bug. It's coming, kill it. Yes, good, and now these little ones. Come on, you got this. More injuries to deal with by the looks of it. Oh shit, Lizzie got shot by uh, Reinstein. Oh god, you brutes. Is that one dead? Yeah, that's dead, okay. So, three more people to uh, tend to their injuries. Okay, over you come. Rest, Lord Cucumber. Let's put you in there. And Alfred. I swear to God, I will not lose you guys. Where is Ash and Crow? Are you, are you back with us yet? No. And you've got a major untreated infection now. Dude, I cannot see this ending well for you. Uh, sorry. I'm not sure what I can do unless you relax and get back and get some treatment. Uh, Lizzie. Yes, you need to come with me too. Put you in that bed. And Reinstein, come and finish off this bloody thing here, this hive. 23 hours till it spawns again. All right, that's good. 87%. Right, Reinstein, you stay there. You're not going anywhere. Now, why can't I put Ash and Crow in this bed, in these hospital beds? Because if I, if I right-click on someone, it says try to arrest. Ah, oh, now I'm allowed to try and arrest him. All right, let's see how this works. Somebody's gone berserk again. Oh, God. Aha! Uh -huh. Ash and Crow's being put in with all these prisoners. Whoopsie! Alright, that's a medical bed. Butterfly, can you tend to his wounds? You can. Major untreated. Quickly, we got to try and save Ash and Crow. How's Reinstein getting on over here killing this thing? Yes, he's done it! You're free to go, Reinstein. An ostrich is heading for a major break. Some dead bodies over here that they're sort of dealing with as well. Look at the blood trail that goes all the way back to my base. It wasn't me, honest, governor. <laughs> okay, cucumber. Uh, let's get sparkles in there to treat you. How's Alfred doing? Alfred needs a bit of treatment. Uh, Lolita, can you do it? Nope. Oh, it says reserved by Dan Peters. All right, cool. Then we're fine. All right, guys, by the way. If anyone can help me by sharing my videos and getting the content out there for our beloved beloved people to, to watch and try and increase the number of subscribers, it would help me immensely. I really need people to view my videos. I've got quite a lot of subscribers right now, but uh, for some reason they're falling out of love with my RimWorld playthrough and I don't know why. So if there's anything I'm doing wrong, please let me know. Oh god, Ostrich is a bit angry now. 
Okay, well, I guess the only thing we really need to focus on right now is Ashen Crow. He's at 51% immunity. And he's trapped in there with all these brutes. He was he was part of the guys who were fighting, defending the base against these. And now he's in the prison cell with them. I'm pretty sure they're not going to look upon him favorably. Uh, Booth is having an alcohol binge. By the way, if you're new here and you're enjoying my content, feel free to get in touch. I would love to hear from you and I can add you as one of our colonists. I would love to do that. Right, Mule. You dropped your weapon, I see. Lovely. That's helpful. Thanks. Yeah, we still need these graves built. Let's go and focus on Ash and Crow. Dromedary Calf 2 has died because of infection. Oh no, bear's gone berserk. God damn it, leave Ash and Crow alone. What has he ever done to you apart from trying to kill you? Well, you know, you were attacking our base. Hmm. Damn it, Ash and Crow is going to go down. Oh god, now Ostrich is opening fire on them. What is Ash and Crow doing now? He's in restraints, wandering. In psychotic. He's wandering in a psychotic state. Oh no, his infection is extreme already. Immunity 71%. wonder if we can arrest him again. No, I don't think we can. Eh. Pira, come with me. We must try to arrest Ash and Crow, but it's not allowing us. Oh there, my god, man. Right, what is going on? What's Alfred doing? Using his telescope. All right, well, I can't really force them to work right now. Not with all the chaos that's going on. So I guess you're free to do whatever you want. Ash and Crow, I'm pretty sure your time is up, dude. Unless you recover from your psychosis. Come on, get into one of these beds. Ash and Crow's down. Time to rescue him. Hyena has died because of infection. I think Ash and Crow is going to be next. 83% immunity. Is anyone actually going to rescue him? I did click rescue. Nope, they've refused to do it. Shit. I think this is the end, mate. I really apologize. You've had a good innings. There's not a lot I can do. Like, it's not even giving me a notification like of why I can't rescue you. That's completely weird. What's your pain level at? Yeah, pain 85%. That's usually an indication that death is imminent. There it is. Ashen Crow has died. No! I hang my head in shame. We've lost our fearless leader. The colony leader has perished. Right, people. Get cooking. How can I improve, like, the situation here? We need this place cleaned up. What's Lizzie up to? Cleaning blood. Yes. Uh, let's get mule cleaning as well, I think. And Sparkles has now decided to go on a psychotic killing spree. This could be the end. I've seen it happen when it gets like this. They all just start infighting. And uh, that could be, I guess, one of the problems of why uh, why you don't want too many colonists. But let's see how this plays out. Nope, Sparkles is down. Sparkles is taking a bit of a beat in these days. Right, Ash and Crow. Dude, I don't know if you're classed as a prisoner it says you're still part of my faction, so hopefully you get buried in our glorious uh, sarcophagus hall. Colonist needs treatment. Oh god, ostrich is battering butterfly. Hunter lacks a weapon. There's Mule. Mule's back with us. Right, Mule, pick up your weapon. Look at all this food just going to waste out here. Well, there are plenty of people around, so they should be doing their job of hauling, etc. Uh, exhaustion. <laughs> Colin Lisney's rescue. Yep, Sparkles. Ostrich is guarding the production room. He's like, nobody's coming in here. Oh no, you've, you've recovered. Yay. Right, where's Ash and Crow? Have you been hauled over here to the sarc sarcophagi room? There. No. Einstein's rescuing that. Uh, Ostrich is going for some treatment. Lizzie, cleaning blood. Right, how can we give you a quick mood boost? We can't from there. Is there any of that jelly left? Nope. Crud. Okay, well. We do need to replace this wall here. Oh, Jesus. Lizzie, the healer, has gone berserk. How oh, goody. There she is. Jackal's hit a trap. Who are you, Jackal? You're not even part of my crew. How did you get out? You deserve hitting the crew. 
the thing then. Megatherium is getting revenge on Toxos. Standard fight Toxos. Oh, you brute. That's what I like to see. You've been scratched by the right fist of the Megatherium. Let's get you into bed. Blimey, Jackal's hit another trap. Who are you, Jackal? Jackal's died. Coffee hit trap. What? Are you escaping? They are! They're escaping! No! <laughs> they're all escaping from my prison cells. Well, that's one less thing to worry about. We can't afford to feed you anyway. Uh, where's Sparkles? There she is. Bear has been stabbed to death. Well, that'll uh, teach you for trying to run away from my base. Now, is there any way I can contact a trader to sell some of this stuff that we got? Let's have a look. Let's call... Who are we friends with? Gravo Lavego. Let's call those. And see if we can get some sort of trade deal set up for us. Request a trade caravan. 600 silver. And my fraps uh, thing is blocking how much silver we have. But, but I think we have enough for a trader to come along. Let's just get a... Let's get a combat supplier sent over. So they'll arrive in a few days. Lovely jubbly. All right. That's it, Pira. Get cooking. How many meals do we have? One, and then you're going to eat one. Lovely. All right. Our machining table is now set up. So we can set that to disassemble mechanoids. We'll do that forever. And we can actually make helmets and stuff now, which is good. And weapons. Ooh. I might leave that for a little while, but I have to remember that, that is an option. How many components have we got? We've still got 67. We need more medicine as well. 15 is all we have in stock. All right. Uh, hyena's dead. There we go. Um, let's get the cloth hauled out of the way so that uh, the prison cell can actually be closed. Yeah, I think one of our main problems right now is just the, the state of the base. It's absolutely filthy. So I know some of you are like, stop messing around with the priorities, but I may need to. We've got three cleaners here. Ah, oh, Lizzie's still angry at the world. So you can't do it. What's Alfred Skips doing? You're our builder. I guess you t you're second in command, Alfred. So I guess uh, yeah, you're having a sleep. Fair enough. I guess you now take charge of our colony. Dan Peters, researching furiously. We're uh, researching electric cremation. There we go. That's it, people. Produce meals. A fed crew is a happy crew. Ah, uh, Lizzie's chilled out and gone to bed. That's good. Ah, there we go. Born, the Born Ultimatum is now cleaning. Cool. Look at all these weapons just lying around. Damn it. Redneck Stoge, Crooklyn Clan. Can you hold my weapons? Hey, cargo pods. What have we got here? Monkey meat. Nice. Come and haul some of this, people. Haul the monkey meat back to base. That will uh, speed up our cooking process, I think. Lord Cucumber's gotten food poisoning from rice. Ah, hmm. Sorry, dude. Acevedo, you are stone cutting still, eh? Well, it's an important job, so I got to leave you to do it. What is this here? Elephant skin pants. Uh, colonist needs treatment. Oh god, what the hell? A wild boar. Stand and fight, Cianox. Machine gun to the face. What boar can stand up to that pain? There we go. You do need some treatment though, so head on back. God, this is like an episode... This is like an episode of one of those um, hospital... TV programs. I don't know if you're familiar with English TV, but we've got two over here. One, Holby City. Two is um, Casualty. And this is pretty much what's going on here. Everyone's just having to be treated for their illness uh, and wounds. There we go. Here comes some of that food they were bringing back. Um, I guess... Ah, look at that. They're, they've, they've made the um, graves. That's good. Let's get this guy buried. Fry and Ostrich are just standing around, like, fight, I don't know, ready to fight, I guess. Uh, yeah, we need doors built here. So let's whack those in. We'll get them made out of slate. And that should tidy up our base defences again. There's a Kevlar helmet. There's loads of helmets and all sorts lying around, but, I mean, 
I'm just going to let things settle down. Our people need to recover from their illnesses and get back into the swing of things. Because obviously their mood is playing a big part in, you know, the flow of our base. Okay, how's our bedrooms getting on? Bedrooms are now built. Fam, doobity testic. Uh, I'm sure we set a cooler to be built. Ah, oh, yeah, we did. Good. All right, yeah, the trees need cutting down too because they're preventing the roofs from being um, put there. So let's get Fry to chop down those trees. Look at that. Beautiful. Yeah, remember we wanted colored lights in our little sarcophagi room. Still yet to research them. Other things are taking a bit more of a priority. Uh, Liera. Oh, that one's indoors. That's indoors. Oh, these are indoors. Wow, 40 odd degrees. Now, what's going on here? Why is that so hot? Aha, because of this cooler. All the heat's being vented into that room and absolutely roasting them. Right, Fry, sorry to disturb your sleep, but let's remove that. That might help just a tad. And we'll replace that with blocks. The cooler's being built there, so that's good. Probably then we will want a vent in this bedroom. Because then the cooling air will come through and help all these rooms. Lovely, lovely. There we go. And the place is gradually getting tidied up. That should improve moods. What's the matter with Reinstein? Innocent prisoner died times five. Giving me a minus nine debuff. I wonder if that's multiplied. Bonded animal, peanuts died, lacks a bionic body part. My friend, butt cancer. Oh, see, we're friends, butt cancer. I knew it. Oh, we've got our electric smelter over here. I might uh, move my machining table over there then. Let's deconstruct that. And also the tailoring bench can be put in there too then. I forgot we had that room. Build a copy, put that there. De de deconstruct. That's it, sparkles. Good job, love. Okay, how are we doing? The trees still yet to be chopped down. Where's Fry then? What are you up to, Fry? Harvesting teak tree? Well, that's exactly what I want you to do. Thank you very much, fella. Yes, the cooler's now built. Oh, no! I built it the wrong way around. That ain't gonna work. Born, save us. Typical Rheinstein problem. Sorry, guys. My head is all over the place What with having to move back to England. I'm trying to find a job, but having very little success. Um, so if I mess up a bit... Please forgive me. Life gets in the way. You can't just game all the time. Now, what's Sparkly Face up to? Where are you? You're our artiste. You're busy helping construct. We don't need that anymore, so let's get back to the art table. Yeah, good job, Alfred. You're doing the machining table, so I guess we want a little chair there for their, for their comfort, you know. We're good like that. And we'll set that to disassemble mechanoids forever. Smelting metal from slag in that one. Yes, and in the tailoring bench, we need to set up production for some more clothing. Got tons of cotton lying around, uh, which needs some of it needs to be used for the flooring in here, though. So let's set some of that up ready. Blue and red. I'm not sure if I like blue and red. I really like dark. Maybe I'll change it eventually, but for now, this will do. Put some red there. And a red one there. Look at that. Things are starting to get back to ship shape. Um, have we got any more dead bodies? No. Um, yeah, we got all the... Look how many graves there are. What is that? Like, I don't know, 100 or something? I'm not going to bother counting them. One of our coolers is broken down. God damn it. Yay, electric cremation is now done. Brilliant. I'm going to get that set up ASAP. Now, what do we choose for our next research project? Fire foam, moisture pump, crypto sleep casket, mortars. Yes, that's finally there to be researched. Good stuff. All right, Peter, let's get back to replacing the components here. Good, that cooler's now been built, so temperatures are now stabilized. 24 degrees in the hottest room by the looks of it. That's fine. Heart attack? Elephant 4's had a heart attack. Oh. Right, I brain, permanent gunshot injury. Oh no. That sucks. Bear has hit a trap. Ah, oh, that must have been ages ago. I think that was. Low medicine. Alright, we got our wood stockpile there. Thankfully, Randy Random's given me a little bit of time to uh, piece things back together and get things 
back up and running in a nice way. Uh, Alfred, can you focus on... Ah, Cianox is building that. Okay. And I think we've got quite a lot of blocks, but we kind of need to leave that going. So, cleaners. We don't need so many cleaners now. So, Lizzie, you can be taken off of that duty, and I will put you on crafting. What have we got here? Relationship. There are people who have relationship with your colonists or prisoners in the arriving group. Oh, look. We got Archer Newt, who was an ex-lover of our prissy. Nice. Ah, good. This is the trade caravan. Sweet. They were hanging around the colony for a few days. Blah, blah, blah. Welcome, people. How much money does you have? Does it tell me? Maybe your animals are carrying the money. I don't trust these animals. They might spend it on gambling. You never know. Come on. Come over to my base. Where are you going? Pretty sure my base is not down there. Up here. Come on. That's it. You're taking the long way around. All right, that's fine. As long as you get here eventually. Where are you going? Seriously. Weird. All right, Dan. Let's go and uh, go out there and talk to them anyway. I think they may go over here where my turrets and stuff are. Weird, but true. Okay, here, let's get down to some serious trading business. They've only got 911 silver, that's disappointing. Uh, but we can get rid of a lot of stuff from our stockpile that is low value but taking up a lot of space, like these granite clubs, etc. Steel spear, longsword. Wow, 214 those are worth. Wow, they've kind of exhausted all their money already. Um, is there anything we can buy off of you that will give you more money? Uh, I'm going to snap up that pemmican, I think, just to keep everyone fed. Uh, then you can have a uranium shiv and a plasteel club in return. Ooh, do they have medicine? Let's see here. No, they don't. That's disappointing, people. They've got EMP grenades, though, and a great bow. But that's about all I can sell. Oh, well, better than nothing. Booth. Ooh, you can't do hauling. What about mule? Mule, Lizzie, and Cianox. And then Ostrich can come and haul some silver. And the same with Sparkles. Lovely jubbly. Uh, combat supplier. Major break risk. What's going on here? What's the matter with you, Lizzie? My husband, Ashencrow, died. I forgot about that. No, I'm so sorry. Uh, now, these turrets, I guess we could just deconstruct them. Don't really need them anymore. All right, well, that was nice trading with you. Oh, what about this guy, Falcon? Have you got more money? Who's carrying the money in you guys? Silver, 1,438. Dan, come out here and try and trade with them again. Looks like we've got two trade caravans. Cool, that will help us quite a lot. Yeah, so look, we've, see we've freed up a little bit of space here, but we've still got tons of crappy weapons that I don't want, like these peelers and... Um, um, bows and stuff. That's it, Dan. Come on over. Well, this is proving to be quite a productive episode. I think. Yeah, 1,438 silver. Thank you. Plasteel gladius, plasteel knife, silver mace, 442. Wow. That's worth some money. Now, have they got um, medicine? No, they haven't got medicine either. Great bow, triple rocket launcher, incendiary launcher. Let's get rid of all of this stuff. Ah, oh, they can't afford to do all of that. So, in that case, we'll take back the Plasteel Gladius. And sell these. There we go. That works for me, I think. Get rid of the shoddy Molotov cocktails. Cool. Another load of silver being brought back into my piggy bank. Thank you. Uh, where are we storing silver, by the way? Because that will get hauled eventually. Silver. Is it going in here? Raw resources. Silver. Let's make it go in there, then. Not sure where we're storing it. Oh, we're storing it in here as well. All right. Well, two places is fine. Cool. I guess that about wraps up this episode, guys. That's... Uh, a bit of a devastating loss. We've lost Ash and Crow, which I'm, you know, personally, I'm very devastated about because he's long, one of my longest-serving subscribers and a beloved Patreon sponsor. 
for which I cannot thank him enough. Um, Lizzie the healer's gone berserk. Not surprising, love. You lost your husband. Just take a few moments to compose yourself. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching, guys. I'm just going to go in here and set up a build to make some more pants, etc. And I will see you very soon. Take care. It's been a pleasure, as always. Mwah.